Michael Andretti's Formula One team. Um, yep. Cadillac, Andretti, very cool partnership, I think. Um, Crazy. It's it's not what I expected. I, I did not know that that was happening. Um, very interesting, I guess, reaction to that. Um, I mean, I I think it's awesome, right? I remember an era. Now, Joey, you you were not into racing yet at this time, but I remember an era where Formula One was pretty much like begging new teams to come to the sport. And we had <laughs> like some awful teams come into Formula One. I remember HRT. This That's actually where Daniel Ricciardo got his little start there. But HRT's cars were so bad that they could almost not even show up to the racetrack at some point. And then you had uh, Manor Marussia as well who Alex Rossi drove for in his Formula One stint. And Robert Wickens was also tied to that team as well. But those guys, I mean, I don't even know. Again, just not the highest levels of organization. And and Formula One continue to say, well, you know, we we want, you know, we we don't know if they, if they being Andretti, GM, Cadillac, whatever it is, understand the level of competition and the level of, the level that you need to be at to compete. And I was like, well, what happened to those guys? Like, wh- I mean, I, I just, there are so many yeah. things that I have to say about this and it, and it makes me furious because I, I look at this and I think, Oh, Andretti Cadillac, like formula one. And they have like a lot of people supporting them when it comes to financial, the, the financial side. Yeah. Great. Why is everyone not excited about this? Now here's the thing that I don't understand really is how the money is divided up, right? You know how in TV deals and 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 prize money deals, and if they add two cars to the championship, does that dilute the money? Yes, and we're not talking about small millions. It's not like it dilutes it, you know, five to ten million dollars. Like Formula One is a billion dollar, and like there's a lot of money floating around there. But I still don't get why these teams. Oh, well, again. In life, everything seems to be about money. So the root of all evil is money, apparently. So it's it's all it's all down to that. But it's a shame that they're willing to literally not allow anyone to enter the sport. What if in five years Drive to Survive isn't as successful? What if in five years you don't have the buzz that you have now? And then you're like, oh man, we could really use another two cars yeah. on the grid, or we could really use some more excitement. Or G, I mean, I don't understand the short sightedness of it. I, I don't know, Joey. Do you see like some blatant, like just disrespect for America in general in this whole program? Oh yeah, I mean it's a, it's a load of crap, man. I mean it's 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 what we've talked about for so long on this show, and like I've you know we've seen people like yourself, people like Graham Rahal go out in public and then call out you know F one about. And it just, especially like you said, like this is Andretti we're talking about. This isn't, yeah. <laughs> this isn't, you know, like, and I'm, I'm thinking in like college football terms, right? Like, this isn't Kent State or like yeah. Mercer, yeah. right? Mercer, or, or, yeah. or, or or TCU. Yeah. Oh, after this national tough, championship, tough loss. Yeah, Andretti. We're, I mean, we're talking about the Michigans, the Ohio State, right? Like. So that that that's just something that is not only frustrating, but like you said, it's 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 baffling, really. Uh, and then when you top off, you know, you, you bring it on with with Cadillac too. I just it's it's a clear, it's a it's a clear uh, bias against uh, what we're trying to do, what folks from over here are trying to be a part of, and honestly, I hope it comes back to bite them in the ass big time. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. I mean. There's all this talk about, well, they don't get it and they don't understand it and, and they won't be good. I was like, well, give us a chance. There's Then if it doesn't go great, then you can say all that all you want. But right now, there are no true American teams in the sport. I'm sorry, Haas is not an American team. It's it's run by everyone but Americans yeah. overseas. The Ferrari connection. I mean, Gunter Steiner's there as the, the head guy. Congratulations. That's awesome. And, and again, Gene Haas, love that investment in Formula One. That is great. I like the Gene Haas part. But again, I, I feel like 
even Formula One fans and all these people that have interacted about the Andretti thing being American, they have now finally completely forgotten and let go of the fact that Haas is a Formula One team from America, apparently, because it's just not like it's it's not a con- it's not a connected American thing. So, again, I support that. Pietro Fittipaldi, friend of the show, obviously. We yep. we love him, and we're glad that he gets to drive for those guys at times. Um, but I just – the fact that everyone is so shut off to it, I, I just I, – I don't understand. And, I mean, and, and Andretti – the Andretti family, they understand how hard this is going to be, but they have such a passion for this sport that if anyone – is to do it. It's going to be them. You know what I mean? Like they're building this facility in, in Indiana that might as well be, you know, I mean, it might as well be bigger than an Amazon distribution set. I mean, it, 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 it should be like the Marvel headquarters. Like, Oh yeah. It's shield. Like it's, it's there. the yeah. shield agency. Like it's literally, right. you could fit, you know, a couple seven forty sevens in there, I'm sure. So it's, it's, it's something that they have the backing for, which is usually – I remember when when some new teams were trying to come into the sport back in the day, and you were like, well, maybe it's some sketchy backers. We don't really know. Right. And when they did it, it was like it didn't end up being great. But, like, they're trying to do it right, and it's obviously not going to happen next year. But, like, wh- why – I don't know why, why limit it? And, and especially with a brand like Cadillac, I mean, General Motors, I mean, what, like where I'm a Chevy guy. So like, I, I love to see that as well. Um, but it, it's something that is inherently obvious to those that have been involved in this sport and to see how formula one continues to look at America and Americans who are in motorsport. It's astounding. They're trying to have a bunch of events here in America. They're That's they're in Miami. The number one thing that pisses me off. They're in Las Vegas. I mean, we should not let them race here unless if, if this happens. I mean, it's like, hey, sorry, you don't want our teams. Well, you don't get our events. Like, I don't, that that's crazy talk because that's never going to happen. Right. Too much but too money, what? like you said. I mean, let's get the entire U.S. government, which uh, probably not very efficient in the first place, but. Let's get them to stonewall Formula One until they let America have a team. At least give us a chance. You know, based here, whatever it is, going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy because Formula One is the top level. It is. They're spending $300 million a year on stuff. They're building things from the ground up. But why not give us a chance? Then you can make fun of us all you want. But until you give us a chance to do that, then I just, I don't know. It's... It's astounding to me. Why it's would like, you not want the Andretti name back in F1 too? Exactly. Like, right. Yeah. The, what 100%. honestly what name in motorsport is is more recognizable than Andretti currently in North right. America in when it comes to motorsport? You obviously have the NASCAR side where there's very recognizable names, you know, Petty and 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 Gordon and Earnhardt, Earnhardt right? Those are those are very very recognizable names, but like Andretti is, I, I mean, the Andretti name is in rap songs. Like, like, what do we do? If, if you're in rap songs, you're a superstar. And, and even, even in, in Formula One in Europe, like Mario Andretti, very well respected. Michael Andretti, I think, got the short end of a stick on that. But he was pretty good at, in Formula One as well. So I, I don't, I just don't get it. But if someone were to explain the, the financials of it, I'm sure I'd be like, well, I sort of get it. But, like, man, if you're true racers, like, bring on the competition. You know what I mean? True racers want to race. If you don't want to race against more people because, well, it's inexcusable. 